I'll tell you what, the food, the ingredients, the smell, the taste, the textures, the flavors. Just a bit of a quick villa. So today we're going to be using the popular Ghanaian abum, which is made out of spinach or contumery, may I say. But I'm taking it to not chop, of course. So these are flavors that you're going to be familiar with, but it's with that in Dudu to West, the Kache of 2019. Christmas na abba, avala, mbwa Christmas, ah, yibidi, ye, ufi ready, we'll start, una. Now to a bowl, I've added my mashed yam. This is a very quick recipe, but of course with my own twist. Equally, you can use potatoes in the absence of yam, or you can try some, you know, just about ripened plantain as well for this. Now the next thing I'm adding is my spring onions, yes, and also some green chilies. So it's the onions and chilies with the mashed yam, which I mashed it with some butter. It's just incredible. Now I have omitted salt from this because the next ingredients would explain why. So I'm adding my kobe, the salted fish. Now if you watched my previous video on how I made the kobe stock, yes, it's the kobe which is a salted fish that I've shredded and here we have it. So I'm just infusing that flavor in there. Next thing, I've got my smoked garlic. You can use your normal garlic, not a problem. But I found this smoked garlic in um, the grocery shop and I was like, you coming home with me? <laughs> so I've just added that and I'm just going to mix everything together, as I always say, till it's well combined. Because as you know about this channel, it's all about building upon the flavors. And I hope you've clicked the subscribe button if you haven't done so yet now. Okay, so moving on. Next thing is I'm adding some horseradish. The reason I couldn't be bothered to add some ginger, but equally you can use a little bit of ginger for it. So horseradish is in the same family of ginger. But it's creamier, it's beautiful. It's got that sort of wasabi flavor. So yes, absolutely. And it's readily available in most supermarkets. So now that I've got my basics here, I'm now going to be adding the yolk of one egg. Now, naturally, I'd leave the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in dudubayfafa.blogspot.com. So do check it out. And I was mixing this with a spoon. I was like, cha, nah, let me just get some gloves and use my fingers and mash this till it's well combined as you do. And you can see that's just beautiful. The flavors alone, mm -hmm, yums. Okay, so now, when it comes to shaping your yam, you can do it in that croquette way, um, just the way I used to can see here, or you can do it in the yam bowl way, whichever way, you know, the shape, it comes down to you. You know, when it's about, you know, creating recipes or about cooking, the experience should fill you with, you know, that inner joy. And so just do whatever makes you happy. Add the flavors that you'd like, you know. And this is what this channel is about. I mean, these flavors are things that you are definitely used to, but I just present it to you in a different manner. That's the Indu Dubai for first twist, you see. And look at that. That is just perfect. Now, an easier way as well of doing this is you can actually get a plate and you can keep rolling and rolling. It's easy as one, two, three, until you get your desired shape. So traditionally, when one makes abum, we use the palm oil and I've got my zomi here. Now, if you've watched my previous videos, I've been talking about zomi lately. So I'm going to add a little bit of zomi to my mixture. So half of it is just the normal one that I've done. And then the other, I'm just adding like, you know, about a teaspoonful of my zomi. And that flavor alone is just going to infuse into this beautifully. So of course, the yam, we've got the yam, we've got the kobe in there. You've got some onions you know i've got my shenanigans as well like you know gone in there but look how beautiful and colorful this is you know absolutely it's just incredible but then i was like no 
oh let me just get some sardine yes so i was about to roll it i was like no 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 let me add some sardines to this because it's just incredible that flavor so you've got that kobe flavor coming through and now you've got the sardine it's just flavor packed without a doubt you know and this you'd serve this for your guest you know they'll go like hey what's this but then when they taste it oh my god it's like yes and you know it's all about the textures as well so in as much as i'm trying to emulate the flavors of the dish is also the texture absolutely so anyway we're mixing everything together and mashing as you can see until it's well combined and in this one i think i'm just going to roll it in that bowl shape until you know it's just beautiful Oh, nah. mm -hmm. <laughs> have i given you that reason to click the subscribe button if you haven't done so yet and the notification button which means each time i upload a video you are notified of it and you do not miss a thing and i do not want to miss you at all whatsoever yes So here I do have my Zomi infused yam balls. Yes, with Kobe, of course, and we have the croquette shape. So now I've got my frozen spinach. Um, I got this from Iceland and it does last. You know, like when you buy your fresh spinach, it does go off quite quickly. So this comes in handy. And so I just used one cube of it, allowed it to defrost. And to that, I've added some spring onions. And I'm also adding a little bit of my Kobe bits there. The next thing I'm going to add is my cassoir pepper. And I love cassoir pepper because it's aromatic. And this is readily available in Ghana, definitely. So in the absence of that, you can use any green chilies or you can use your bakbushito, which is the petit bill chilies, may I say. So now what I'm going to do is warm this through um, because, of course, I mean, the spinach is already cooked and I just don't overcook anything whatsoever. Now, the chicken stock is homemade and I'd leave the link in my description box on how to make your own. In the absence of that, you can use any stock that you have available. It's just adding that extra flavor. You can just use your normal water. But I think if you do use a stock for this, it makes a big difference. Anyway, so I just warmed it through for just about what, 50 seconds and I've blended it into this beautiful green emulsion, as you can see here. And I'm just going to reserve this in the fridge yes absolutely because i'm going to be mixing the temperatures hot and cold at the same time so i've got my breadcrumbs here and these are the japanese panko breadcrumbs they are readily available in most supermarket and here i'm whisking one egg because of course i'm going to be doing some frying as you do and i'm whisking the egg till it's nice and fluffy and until i can see some bubbles coming up and i think this is perfect so now i'm going to place my yam balls in the egg mixture as you can see here now and i'm just going to roll it you know now this can be a messy affair especially if you use your hand so i prefer to use a spoon for this it makes it easier and the mess less you know and i'm just going to drop that in the breadcrumbs but yeah you repeat this sort of process you know you just get the egg wash around it and then you dip it into the breadcrumbs um of course what the egg um, does is it allows the breadcrumbs to stick to your yam balls and that is important you know you want it all crunchy and textured and still moist and beautiful and flavor packed as you do you know the ones are very dodgy ball nobody does <laughs> did i say that anyway so once you do this um do place your wok or your frying pan or a deep pan um with oil um on a medium to high heat absolutely and this doesn't take that long to cook now when you make your yam balls you can reserve that also in the freezer especially for christmas because you know one becomes busy and as when you need it you just take it out and then you dip it you know you you let it defrost of course and then you dip it into your egg wash and then the breadcrumbs and then you begin to fry and within about three to four minutes it fries perfectly so whilst your guests are just about to arrive and you can just start frying this and it's a perfect starter you know um or you can actually add it to the 
buffet meal. It's just incredible. And you know, you can equally work as a canopy. So of course, I'm frying this um, until it's nice and just perfectly golden brown, you know, and that is that indigo twist. And of course, do use your kitchen towel to, you know, absorb any excess oil that comes out of this. Um, but if you do maintain that temperature of that medium to high heat and you do not, you know, lower it or anything, it works perfectly. And the reason why I prefer the panko breadcrumbs is it's lighter. So it's not heavy and it just is incredible. The crunch that it offers when you bite into it is just beautiful. So this is the last batch that I'm frying. And as you can see, about three to four minutes, you've got your croquette. So we had the yam balls and now we've got the yam croquette. Yeah, <laughs> I hope you guys actually enjoyed all the recipes of 2019 and you know i hope that i do you know end this on a big bang 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 <laughs> why not <laughs> so i think that this is now ready um for me to start doing my assembly so now we've got the zoomy infused sort of yam balls okay and that is just a take on the album without a doubt and i've got my beautiful green spinach sauce which you know is packed with flavors as well it's got that little bit of a chicken stock there it's got the kobe going through it's got the castle i prepare as well and yes so your croquettes are hot and then you have this slightly cold you know sort of emulsion coming through so that's just lovely because what happens is when it's hot, when the croquette is hot, you just like, oh gosh. And then, you know, you dip it into this beautiful, you know, spinach kobe infused sauce and you bite into it and it's just incredible. So you get in that crunchiness from the breadcrumbs, you get in that moist, beautiful fishy taste, you know, and that sardine in the middle. Absolutely. And you know it, it's just to die for <laughs> now what i've just done is just you know just do my little shenanigans as i always do and i tend to do um i've got my spring onions and that i've actually just mixed with a little bit of olive oil and some you know chili flakes and i'm just doing some you know things. this you can like omit it all together but if you serve this as a canopy you know you can just do this and it's just incredible mm-hmm how many times have I said it's incredible? A few times, I guess, because it is <laughs> incredible. <laughs> So whilst I was creating this recipe, I was also thinking of other flavors. So I was like, why don't I just use like my natural yogurt? Because of course that would complement the horseradish and also the chilies in there. And the umami flavor that the salted fish, you know, in, uh, infuses into the coquette in a sense. So with that being said, of course, I've got my natural yogurt. I've added my spinach sauce, as you can see and then drizzled it with a little bit of avocado oil now of course you know with album you can definitely enjoy it with avocado so why not absolutely so this is where the infusion takes place and it's a nice surprise you know because you can taste the avocado but you can't see it in there now that's it and i'm just going to drop the croquette in there as you can see and this is just an elaborate way of you know pleasing your guest may i say with you know flavors that are slightly unusual but also that you're very familiar with and you can talk about it definitely so yes i'm also going to add my little bit of like you know my chili oil and my spring onions as you can see here and most definitely if you haven't subscribed yet i don't know what you're waiting for please just click that subscribe button here like now hey did i say <laughs> Thank you, yes. And also the notification button is like the bell thing next to it. Ding dong. What that means is each time I actually upload a video, it's delivered straight to your email address. No wahala, straight line. No condo, no, just straight. Absolutely. 
And yeah. And naturally, I'd leave the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in dudubayfafa.blogspot.com. So do check it out. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter as in dudubayfafa. So do pass by and say hi. Noel, thank you very much for my theme song as usual. And until next time, kings and queens, thank you very much for watching. And be nice, be kind, be beautiful. And guess what? I love you for you. Toodles and thanks for watching.